Thanks for joining me today. We are talking about AI for use in diagnosing and how it could help supplement or augment the diagnosing that we're doing as humans. Humans are typically pretty fallible and are really not good with the diagnostic process. However, used with a technology such as AI in collaboration, we could wind up being a little bit more precise and hopefully helpful for clients as a result. This was the search that I put into the AI search engine. It was, uh, give me three diagnostic options for somebody who's experiencing stomach issues, hypersensitivity to light, sound, texture, intermittent perceptual disturbance. That can mean a lot of different things. I mean, that could be everything from uh, hearing voices or uh, you know experiencing kind of tactile types of hallucinations, among other things irritability, and also anhedonia, just the loss of pleasure in doing things that you normally would find pleasure in. And so it came up, and I, I noticed the first paragraph on the right, I realized the type's really small, but I wanted the first paragraph is saying, hey, I'm not a doctor here, but I'll, I'll do my best. The last paragraph here is saying, hey, it's crucial that you consult with a mental health professional. And I would agree with all of this. Um, also, you know, there are going to be some dangers with AI. Um, I think it's going to be an incredible tool in advancements uh, for advancements in discoveries. It's already solving very complex math problems uh, way at, well ahead of schedule. Uh, but there's also going to be some things we really need to pay attention to uh, that, you know, could be issues and just how quickly it's growing and not really understanding how it can be put to use or harm. But you'll see here on the diagnoses that they have a somatic symptom disorder, generalized anxiety disorder, and major depressive disorder. So those seem legit. Like if I just saw these symptoms, um, this would be some of the types of diagnosis that would come to mind. So again, just to kind of augment and help us uh, be, be a little bit more accurate, AI could be helpful in this regard. But I look forward to your comments, and we'll talk to you on the next video. Take good care.